Alright guys, welcome back to another video. This is the first episode of a new Let's Play. Today we will be starting a Let's Play playing as Yugoslavia. Some of you guys wanted it and uh, I held a vote in my Discord server between Yugoslavia and Romania and Yugoslavia won easily. One of the first countries I ever played was Yugoslavia actually and uh, when I did I united the Balkans. I took out uh, Bulgaria, Greece, Albania, Romania and Hungary and I united the Balkans. That was pretty huge and that is what we're going to be aiming for this game. We might do even more, we might try to unite like all of the Slavs or something. But that will only be a possibility if we unite the Balkans first, so let's get into the game. We'll try to build a strong economy and start expanding pretty soon. The first country I annexed in that uh, game was Albania, but Albania was a country in that uh, map. This is a different map, this is a historic world war map, but that was a... I don't even know what it's called, it has like 22 players I believe, and uh, Albania was an AI nation. So here we're instead going to try to buy Albania from Italy, if that is going to be possible. After that we'll go after Bulgaria, then Greece, then Romania and then Hungary. That is going to be the plan. First thing we're going to do is actually ask Italy if we can buy Albania. Anyway, we'll start building some troops now and uh, some industry too. I can actually see a German unit coming over here, probably just for defense, but I'm not gonna trust that. It is probably from Vienna, which means it isn't uh, many units. Well, our army is currently extremely, extremely weak, as you can see. We're gonna have to bump up that budget by a lot. We have some buildings, not that many, and we don't really have an air force either. Belgrade will probably be used for tanks, while I use Zadar for uh, aircraft factories. We can reach, so that shouldn't be a problem. So let's uh, start making some planes here. We're gonna want them. We're gonna make some tanks here. We're not gonna make any yet though, we're gonna make some infantry, regular infantry, we're gonna prepare for defense first. In uh, like these two areas we're also gonna make infantry, and in these three we can make some artillery early on. So first we're gonna make three infantry, three artillery, then we're gonna slow down to four infantry, uh, two artillery production, as artillery is more needed currently, and we don't have any. We're gonna get low two infantry however, we're also gonna get the regular artillery and you're going to be going for heavy tanks. Now artillery I don't think is, is as important right now as getting tanks to produce, so we're gonna research mediums then go to heavy tanks, it's gonna cost a lot but it's gonna be worth it. After researching level 2 infantry we're gonna go to level 2 artillery. That's the plan, then we might get level 2 interceptors. So currently production is good as you can see, and in uh, like most of our cities, we're going to make some industry. Like in all of these that make double, right, we're gonna try to insanely upgrade our economy. Zadar and uh, Dubrovnik might not be worth it, however we don't make much of food unfortunately, so that might be a problem. I hope it won't be though, I hope it won't be. Anyway, today we're going to get some troops over to Albania, right, like maybe three troops or something, nothing serious. Most of our troops will make a defensive line here in uh, Slovenia on the German and Italian border. And uh, the new troops will probably go to Bulgaria since we'll be going to war with them pretty soon. So production is good, we're just gonna need to keep that production up and we will be fine. So there we're definitely gonna need to keep industrializing or maybe we could use a different city. I don't think we have any other city that makes food. No we do not. But we have uh, some provinces. But this one that actually makes some is very close to the border of Germany and Italy. So it's not gonna be worth it. This could however get bombed by the Italian navy extremely easily. I'm just gonna stop building it. I am however gonna keep building this one up, since it's further away. I know Italy spawns your navy right here, so instead we're going to build up uh, some other provinces here. Goods, uh, metal and so on. The local industry there. And even rare materials right here. There we go. Well, there's building, I guess. This is it. This is uh, production and uh, it's time to get our units 
over to their positions. I do not feel safe enough uh, to get all of my units over to the Bulgarian border to attack them. Italy and Germany are in a coalition and if Italy attacks I might have a problem on my hands. A pretty big one. However, I do think that I can win if they declare war on me. If I play it right, of course. So this unit is gonna go uh, over here, right? This is actually a mountain province which can help us defend. Gonna put one on each province over here. And an armored car as well. That should be enough for Albania. It should be enough to take it as well if you really need to. Now this militia will go over here. This militia can will go over here. And like a lot of uh, our units, like most of our units actually, will probably go to Zagreb over here so we can defend that. They also set up a defensive line somewhere over here with the mountains, but it won't be right next to the border. We might set it up later. We only border Italy with two provinces and uh, Germany with three. So we might do that maybe tomorrow. For now, I'll just get all the units over here. I'm just gonna keep this one here just to make sure Romania doesn't attack us. It isn't significant, but it might be if Romania actually sees that unit. Anyway, if we keep up production, we'll be pretty strong within like two days. I mean, uh, triple our army strength extremely, extremely easily, I think. So we're gonna have to do that slowly, but surely economy is gonna go up, I'm sure about that. Italy isn't that much stronger than us. If Germany doesn't get involved, I bet we can easily defend against them and even uh, possibly, like, it's not really uh, likely, but we could take them out if, you know, God gives us the strength. Also, I hope uh, that it doesn't come to that and uh, hopefully... Italy also does accept our offer to buy Albania, that'd be nice. If that does happen and we can easily expand, then we shouldn't have a problem. As we can see here, Italy is level 64, KD ratio 7.3, and the 0.44 ratio for province. I guess capturing would be the name. Yeah, uh, that isn't too good, they're also a mobile player, which uh, usually they are worse, at least that's my experience. Probably because I'm not a mobile player. <laughs> And the Germany, on the other hand, is 1.15, uh, level 90, and a uh, possible threat, a bigger threat at least, I think, than Italy. So unless they invade us, we won't have a problem, I think. However, I think they are bombing Warsaw currently. No, they are not. Somebody else is at war with Poland, I believe. It is the USSR, yeah. Well, Germany might not do anything. Italy might go inactive, they haven't responded yet, so, you know, we don't know yet. I guess we'll see within a couple of days what's gonna happen. But anyway, well, there's that, we're hopefully securing our borders, we're, we're building up our military, and we are building up industry too, slowly but surely, I think we'll be get strong enough to be able to do everything we really want to. So plan is, as I said, Albania, then Bulgaria, Greece, Romania, and Hungary, it's not that much land right but uh it's a decent amount i suppose anyway i hope we can actually do this since yugoslavia usually dies very early on italy usually annexes them or something like that they are usually considered very weak but i think i'll be able to handle this i think so we have 70 points very little units at the start though and uh, at a not very good position but if we can uh, use our terrain and everything to our advantage and the defensive position, we can probably survive. I can maybe even make a navy and uh, maybe, like, maybe very low chance beat the Italians in sea and secure our independence. Anyway, I'm going to end the video right here. So, thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Of course, leave a like and subscribe if you like the video. And yeah, I'll see you guys then, I suppose. Goodbye!